Welcome to the Forbes India Innovation Nation special. As part of the series, Forbes India visited the Pitek Dam at IIT Bombay. Housed in a small shed on the sprawling campus, Pitek is actually a hotbed of innovation for medical devices. India today imports 80% of the $5 to $6 billion worth of medical devices it uses. But the high cost of imported devices makes them inaccessible to the masses. We caught up with Professor B. Ravi, heads up the Vitev lab, to understand how he and his team are bringing together doctors, engineers, researchers and entrepreneurs to create low-cost yet high-quality medical devices. India has a large requirement for medical devices. At this point of time, all these devices, in fact 80% of them, are being imported. Now there is a large gap because our manufacturers are not able to bridge these requirements uh, in terms of world-class quality at affordable cost. We need to do indigenous development of innovative medical devices. Now that is where we need to bring together multiple players, doctors and engineers and researchers and even industry investors together. Vetik in IIT Bombay uh, is a small place but I think we have been able to successfully bring all these groups of people together. Five people die in India every minute because of heart and lung diseases. And when we sum it up, it's around 2.8 million people dying every year. We were brainstorming how can we address this problem. And we saw this uh, stethoscope, which is a 200-year-old technology, which has not changed much. And we came to know with the stethoscope, you can detect the abnormal sounds. And in the early stages of the disease, you can tell the patient to go to an expert clinician. But we noticed that with the existing conventional stethoscope, it is very difficult to differentiate a normal and abnormal sound. The reason because the sound which comes out of the regular stethoscope is very faint and it requires a lot of expertise to master this skill of, you know, or to tell there is problem or not. So this is a conventional stethoscope. Our device goes in between this. This is our device. So this is a small module that goes in between conventional stethoscope. So you just have to remove the chest piece like this, attach the device like this. So it becomes a digital stethoscope. The benefit of the device is the first point is you can connect to any conventional stethoscope. The second point is it you can amp amplify the sound. The third point, point is like you can reduce the noise, so only the sound of interest will be heard. And the fourth point is it has aux, uh, so that you can send the data from this device uh, from a remote location to a doctor which is there in urban area. In conventional laparoscopic surgery, minimal invasion is necessary, hence long instruments are used. Long instrument means the surgeon loses his dexterity, the wrist is lost, which was an advantage in an open surgery. What we tried when Dr. Suresh Deshpande from Kulapur who came and said, can you give me additional degrees of freedom at the tip of the instrument? So we tried different various concepts, we did brainstorming and we came out with proof of concepts where we could actually achieve this extra degrees of freedom in a paper model. Once we achieved that in a paper model, we were able to translate into rapid prototype in plastic. So we actually recreated at a larger scale and we were able to achieve this extra degrees of freedom what a wrist gives. The same thing actually we translated into a metal prototype. So you can see here that we were able to achieve this extra degree of freedom. But a lot of effort has gone from prototype of paper to plastic to metal. And now as you can see, this product, which is looking more robust, 10mm, is able to do the extra degrees of freedom that you can see here. Mm -hmm. This motion is what is, you would see. It also rotates and then it gives you the dexterity that is necessary during a surgery. So if you take a step back and look at the life cycle of innovation. It starts from a, an idea or a need from a doctor, then we go into what's called as proof of concept, then a prototype, then a product and market and eventually impact. So idea to impact has these four steps and the values of death in between. We call them values of death because many times these uh, 
a proof of concept doesn't go on the way to prototype. A prototype doesn't go to product and product to market. Something happens in between and it falls into value of death. So we are looking at these carefully. We are evolving a mechanism by which this can be done efficiently. After developing this device at Metic, we formed the company eight months ago. And currently we are incubated inside uh, IIT Bombay, which is the business incubator of IIT. And uh, also we have received very positive feedbacks from the clinicians and we have received more than 65 orders right now. Dr. Surya Deshpande and leading other laparoscopic surgeons have actually tried this in exhibitions and also in a place where they do training of surgeons and they found this very comfortable doing suturing of the uh, walls of the abdomen from the inside which are inaccessible through conventional long instruments. So we didn't want just uh, the idea to be defined and developed, we also wanted delivered and deployed which means uh, there is an Indian manufacturer Eclipse Instrumentation, which is a Mumbai based uh, company, which has licensed this device for manufacturing and commercialization.